ASVAB Pike at Arithmetic Reasoning Practice Test Question says a train goes twice as fast downhill as it can go uphill and two-thirds as fast uphill as it can go on level ground. If it goes 120 miles per hour downhill, how long will it take to travel 45 miles on flat land? So to solve this one, we need the distance formula. That is, distance is equal to rate times time. We know the train is traveling 45 miles on flat land, so distance is going to be 45. And we're trying to figure out how long. How long is in reference to T or time? That said, we got to determine what the rate of the train is. And to do that, we're going to work backwards. Again, uh, we know how fast the train goes downhill. According to the problem, it goes 120 miles per hour downhill. According to the problem, likewise, we're told that it goes twice as fast downhill as it can go uphill. So if it goes 120 miles per hour downhill, and that's twice as fast as it can go uphill, that must mean it goes 60 miles per hour uphill. And finally, we're going to figure out how fast it's going across uh, level ground. And right here, it says it goes two thirds as fast uphill as it can go on level ground. So 60 miles per hour is equal to two thirds as fast as the train can go on level ground. So we're going to solve this one for L and that will be our rate that we can plug into the distance formula here. Let's clear this uh, fraction in front of L by multiplying both sides of the equation by its reciprocal, notably by three over two. This crosses out here and here, leaving you with L over here. Uh, let's do this math very quickly. I'm going to write 60 as a fraction by placing it over 1. 2 goes into 2 1 time, 2 goes into 60 uh, 30 times. This is 3 over 1, which is just 3, times uh, 30 over 1, which is just 30. 3 times 30 is 90. So this train goes uh, 90 miles per hour across level ground. So we have everything we need to solve this one. Again, we know distance is 45 miles. We know its rate across level ground is 90 miles per hour, so let's plug that in. And we know we're going to be solving for t. To solve for t, we're going to divide both sides by 90, of course. This crosses out, leaving you a t over here. Uh, 45 over 90 reduces to 1 half. Again, 45 divided by 45 is 1. 90 divided by 45 is 2. So in other words, it's going to take this train half of an hour to cover those 45 miles. So this one is c. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and if you didn't know that half an hour is equal to 30 minutes, you do 60 times 1 half. Write this as a fraction by placing it over 1. This is 60 over 2, which is 30. So that's how we got the 30 minutes there.